Hello, everybody. Woo! Welcome to our medium form show. For those who don't know what that means, good luck tonight. Uh, that's that's going to be uh, kind of a mystery until the second half of our show. So please look forward to seeing what medium form means. Without further ado, ridiculous. Ridiculum. Please don't do that anymore. It makes me queasy. It is. <laughs> they're always, when they get drunk, they call us grandma. It's really hard. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. All right. All right. So um, we, we do have we do have one one guy coming in. He's kind of training, and uh, it's going to be kind of a, a learning experience. So we do have a, a little more time to sure. let him know how it works around here. Totally, totally. And here's here's my philosophy is that with any new person, you're trying to like train them to do this job. Uh, well, that just happened. That's kind of what you got to do. Is you think on the fly. You kind of dick out of them. Oh, something's just happened. That's how it goes. <laughs> I'm going to actually I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go let him in. He's like, OK. Yeah. yeah. Let's get All right. Hey, what's up? Hi. Thanks for the job. Of course. Nice. Thank you for coming, Timmy. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. We're, um, we're going to take you back. Did you hire a fucking miner? I know. <laughs> well, no, he's a bartender now. He's not my, a miner. My mom, my mom said, just because you know, just because you're young doesn't mean you can't do anything. It's like edging. <laughs> he said it. I didn't. So this is Johnny. Uh, he's he's going to show you how he cleans his glasses. Um, he's, he's been working here for a little bit, and I'm kind of going to give the reins to him. Here, take your glass. All right, and what you're going to do is. Some people give, some people take. Me, I only take. They call me the evil, Mr. Boss. Uh, <laughs> That's the kind of mentality we like to have around here. Okay. Right, so. I'm sure the rest of capital was a mis this cutthroat. You're an interesting child. <laughs> hey, uh, don't forget, when, when, when you're going over the, um, the, the like, how to like, use the soap, don't forget, we, um, uh, they must have amnesia. They forgot that I'm him. <laughs> <laughs> so, sometimes the, the soap it makes you it's it's you know stuff like that. That looks tasty. Do I drink this now? You no, know, go for it. <laughs> Johnny, you letting the kid drink the soap? It's good. It tastes. It's good. It tastes like you know how little Asian boys scurry to me like flappers. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just wait here real quick. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this thing does? Whoa, stop. 
Scott's coming out. That's cool. I don't know. I think he found me. I'm not, I'm not sure. We, I'm not, oh, can't, there's another one. Have this kid working. We can't open with him in there. Dude, you know what boss is going to say. Yeah. I just, weird, yeah. Boss is totally going to say, kiss my ass like you did my uncle's. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Last time we, ordered, we, we, we hired someone that didn't do well. Yeah, kiss his uncle's ass. We can't okay. do that again. I can't do that again. Oh, like we really hey, don't want to do that. Hey, again. Timmy, we're you know we actually we'll let you come in. Um, you know, another, we might we've kind of gone a different direction. We don't. We're we're not really sure about letting you work here. It's also a little crowded around really? the bar. I need this for my work study though. My teacher said if I don't work here, nice try, pork. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call me a pork? I think that's what my teacher told me. The last time someone called me a pork in this bar. Anal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him what it is. It should seem threatening enough. Get out of here, anal. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I read the fucking line. That's a little bit bofa. <laughs> a lot of bofa going around here. Bofa. Get out of here. It's time to open up. Flip the sign. And scene. <laughs> Alright. So, for this next game, we're going to play some dating game. So, we're going to have Owen here as our eligible bachelor. Correct? Uh, I, my girlfriend's in the crowd, so I'm not going to say anything on that. But we'll suspend belief for this. Says, in, in this moment, in, in this improv scene, <laughs> this fake improv scene that means nothing. Or everything. Oh! <laughs> the world's Bye, Owen! Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh, no. Now we're going to need three other people up on the stage. So you guys know who you are, because I don't. <laughs> We're gonna have Nate, we're gonna have Georgia, and we're gonna have Julia as the three contestants of this dating game. So, so Owen has no idea who these people are gonna be because that's what we're here to figure out now. So, uh, can we get a word to inspire uh, Julia here? Apple! I'm lobster. Apple? Okay. Alright, we got apple. Can we get a word for Georgia? Shit! Cinnamon. Cinnamon? <laughs> Can we get something that's not food for me? Chili! Oh wait, that is food. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take checkers for me. So we have, we have apple, we have cinnamon, and we have checkers. And so now when Owen gets back in here, he's gonna act like he's on a dating show, ask him some questions, and try and figure out who are these people that want to date Owen. So, we're gonna need to bring Owen back in here. So here we go. Owen! Owen! America's favorite dating game, Date. Woo! We didn't workshop that for very long. Uh, I'm your host, uh, me, and uh, we're gonna get started here. Contestant one, please introduce yourself. Hi, um, my name's Jean. Um, I work at the club. <laughs> I love boots and I love fur. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't need to ask you any more questions. Contestant <laughs> <laughs> number two, introduce yourself. I'm Glozell. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. This is my comeback. I had a little incident back in the day. <laughs> But I'm here. <laughs> 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 I'm the field. I got my green hair back. I'm ready to go. Great. Thank you, Glozell. Um, contestant number three, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Bobby Jr. <laughs> 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 so it's a dating game. <laughs> okay, Bobby Jr. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at board games. I'm nationally ranked. Oh, great. That's, <laughs> that's great. Thank you, Bobby. Just going to do it quick. How old are you if you say under 18? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be happy. Oh no, my dad died like 1970. Uh, great, great. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, first question to Gene. Gene, yeah, that's me. Uh, your ideal first date. Where are you going? Ooh, toffee. Um, <laughs> so I want to go somewhere casual, so we can wear jeans, obviously. Uh, and they have those like fun little bottoms. 
Yeah, you know in the box. Yeah, you get that. Yeah. You get it. <laughs> um, and so probably a club, most likely. I'm just always there. I like. I think I live there, um, basically. And maybe we could go like bobbing too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, close out. Same question to you. Oh, we have fun night. Uh, we probably we probably start at my house, do a couple challenges. Do a little, do a little <laughs> balloon toss or something like that. <laughs> Just trying to get back on the tube, uh, and then we definitely would not do other challenges. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. I'm all right. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> I'm next. <laughs> okay, Bobby Junior. So I got my pack of like, uh, portable board games. We go to like a nice cafe, put them down. You know, play some games. You know, advance conversation, and then you know, go back to like either Trump my place or yours, and like you know, once I'm all the way there, one of us gets on top. <laughs> okay, and Bobby. Bobby. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like <laughs> Doesn't sound like a boring game at all. All right, uh, contestant, we're we're gonna reel it back in here. I got this next question. Oh, okay. Um, you know, I want to know. A, a lot about relationships are about aspirations and goal setting and those sorts of things. Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say at the club. <laughs> five years. Okay. I I just I'm gonna be there for the rest of my life. Dare I say it? Um, yeah. I thought that for a you were gonna be at the club. I thought I was gonna be there my whole life. Then look at me now. I'm Lozelle and I'm on TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not her club though. There's no challenges at this one. We're just like dancing, some bobbing. Uh, <laughs> if you seem bob centric. Well, yeah, centric. yeah. Well, yeah. Just that's one of the activities like I know. Yeah. 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 I know very little activities oh, to do. And I mean, if you get the right person bobbing for apples. Yeah. Yeah. That shit's hot. I uh, well, yeah. I don't care anyway. Especially because I always have the apples on the bottom of my jeans. Right, yeah. right, yeah. Your name? Uh, Lozelle, bitch. Lozelle. Uh, <laughs> please, please answer the same question. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, well, you know, um, hopefully doing better. Um, hopefully <laughs> um, famous again, because, uh, but I don't know. I, I, I'm, I've been having lung issues for a couple of years now. Um, I'm asthmatic now. You know, those, those trends. <laughs> Can we get a hand for the asthmatic? It's hard. It's really hard. I want to be an advocate. I want to speak for it. Um, and got awareness for the dangers of, you know, just spices and shit. Like, people, <laughs> you think it's like fun. It's casual. Like, oh, like it's in my apple cider. Like, no, that fucking kills. Like, kill. <laughs> well, you can be poisoned. <laughs> you can be poisoned. Mm. Okay, okay. Alright. Uh, you know, that's a good answer. Uh, Bobby Jr., I want to hear from you. So, my dad, Bobby, uh, was the number one in this one. But, like, he was actually smart, unlike me. It could, like, go all everywhere in the wood. I'm kind of stupid, so I can go, like, diagonally and, like, forward. <laughs> but I want to be number one doing that. Because that's, that's, that's as smart as I am. Like, I can only handle, like, diagonal. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Yeah. Also, right. also, I can't tell the difference between black and white, so I painted everything red instead. <laughs> black and red now. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> great. Uh, Bobby Jr., I want to follow up with another question. Yeah. Um, you know, I just want to know what's your favorite game to play, you know? I want to get to know you on a more personal level here. Uh, you know that game? It's like a board. It's got like squares, and there's like little like discs, and you put them on like every other square, and you kind of like, we, we, whoop, whoop, and then you like, 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 I know I'm stupid, but not that stupid. So, okay. so you know you love to play checkers? Yeah. Dang, my dad was so much cooler. Yeah, yeah, he was. I understand that you had a brief stint on YouTube. Um, I don't know if I say it briefly. 
honestly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just, you know, when when you're seasoning a pie, what comes to mind? Um. Uh. Well, nothing that makes me uncomfortable. That's for sure. Nothing that. Um. Uh. I think of apple. And like me too. Those warm, <laughs> 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 those warm spices that mm. you might put in an apple pie, right? Yeah. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. I fuck with yeah, nutmeg. I yeah. fuck with nutmeg. Um. I love nutmeg, parsley. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite spice. Parsley in a pot. Oh, I was naming spices. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but the cinnamon. Ah! Okay, Jason! Real Jason! Turn off, so you're gonna have to get off the show. <laughs> you two said to him. <laughs> so. Um, so. Do you want to hit the glow? I, I, I can get, I can get low, 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 like on the floor. I, 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 yes, that would be fantastic. Um, do you want to? We're here in Florida, so yeah. yes, we, we, we can just go right there. Okay. Um, okay. Apple on jeans, boots with the fur. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally where that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Underwater basket weaving. Yeah. <laughs> Underwater basket weaving. All right. For Gianna, give me your dream occupation. Foodie. Dragon trainer. Or dragon trainer? Dragon trainer. Dragon trainer. Dragon trainer. Dragon trainer. All right. And for Justin, what's like a written, mm, I don't want to say weird. What's like a really fun hobby that is yeah. like too weird, it's but it's still so weird? Jazzercise! Spunky's more gay than you. You can choose. All right, let's recap. Julia, underwater basket. Yes, be honest. Dragon trainer. All righty, Justin. Caving, but splunking on occasion. Yes, with water. All right. Be sad, everyone. <laughs> um, hey guys, uh, thank you so much for coming here today. Um, my good partner, Noel, died. Um, you know, I met him first day freshman year in our pool class, um, pool <laughs> one one, um, in which we would just sit at the bottom of the pool for hours on end, and they would just see how long we could survive. But Noel had a really good thing in which he um, would float to the top, but not actually like get any air. Like he'd just be on the top, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> on top of the water. It was really, it was like a dynamic, yeah, yeah, naturally. Um, and then I had a class with him second semester called um, Basket Me Vein um, Over Water. In which he would do it sitting on top of a pool, but not underwater yet, just to get into it. And he was really good at he would sit there with his legs crossed and he would try to <laughs> get seaweed. Like it looked like he was like pulling that out of his butt, like on the <laughs> yeah, and weaving it. And I've never seen a greater technique. For, uh, for overwater basket weaving, I mean, truly, the way he would get that sea anemone. <laughs> I just, the professor one time just had him demonstrate for us how to weave. And then, honestly, <laughs> yeah, we would get really into it. And um, my fondest memory of Noel is when we finally got to the underwater part of the basket weaving. 
and he actually just went, <laughs> no snorkel, no nothing, just vibes and seaweed coming out of his butt. And he, I, he, I don't even think he made a basket. He made a sculpture of, of himself. Wow. <laughs> and it was honestly one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. <laughs> and every night I look up at the ceiling and I, I see that sculpture of Noel, and I, I think about him daily. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I lost such a great man and a great swimmer and a great beaver. You'll be missed. together, actually. Um, I, I have a really big dragon that I uh, used to train, and Noel and I <laughs> ran into a lot of fun situations together, trying to train these dragons in our valley where they were. Um, Noel was really good at throwing food to the dragons. Uh, it was always a really good underhand toss. And then a really good overhand toss as well. He was also really good at pulling the fluta out of his um, butt, <laughs> throwing it both overhand and underhand at the same time. <laughs> you know, dragons are no easy thing to train. They're gigantic and ginormous and quite dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she had this technique that, well, if I can say I was shocked by it, I was shocked by it. <laughs> he, would, he would go right up to the dragons and stroke them. <laughs> <laughs> he did this great technique of sitting cross-legged, like he always did, and then riding that dragon. <laughs> riding that dragon until he couldn't ride it anymore. <laughs> Ventured into the darkest, deepest hole we ever had before. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, no forgot what the back of his hand looked like. We were lost. <laughs> but things were looking up. We we looked up literally and saw sunlight. And no sat cross-legged. <laughs> I thought he'd given up, but he was actually forming a plan. He pulled out of his ass this, the longest rope I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> just when I thought he was done, he just kept going. 
and with his overhand and underhand tosses, he was able to throw it out up into the sky and creating the rope for us to grab onto and climb out. And just up there, a dragon was waiting for us, waiting for us to carry us on. And he struck that dragon as he always did. But this dragon, <laughs> it got too relaxed. He had soothed the dragon too much until it fell asleep. It rolled over onto Noel and threw him right back in to the cave we just climbed out of. <laughs> Unfortunately, he had nothing left to pull out of his ass. So he fell. And with a sad thud, he lay there, peacefully, for the last time. <laughs> I will remember you, Noel, and I remember your ass. fun game because at all points during the scene we need to have one person sitting or lying down, one person kneeling and one person standing and throughout the scene you might see them change their positions. In that case you can yell at them they need to fix that to make sure we have one sit, sitter slash liar, one kneeler and one stander. Can we get the sit stand kneel folks up here? All we need to get started is a location. National Anthem. Uh, the Lincoln Memorial. The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. The location. The Hunger Games. <laughs> said, and the last person got a knife in their eye. By you? By you? Wait, so you betrayed them? <laughs> I would <laughs> <have> <laughs> <been> <laughs> <laughs> this is also what I thought. They didn't tell us me about the like killing part. Guys, can I be honest? And I'm so glad to not be in this bear. I also thought that as well. Okay. It's actually so happy to hear you say that. There's like, like I've been crawling around on the ground looking for berries. There's a distinct lack of food in the Hunger Games. Yes, it is. It's almost like they want us to die. Yeah, this is. I don't know. I don't get this. What? Idea. Idea. The reason why we're killing people. We're supposed to be eating them. Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> You're so smart! You know, we eat the people we kill. You're right, and I'm a little hungry. Oh, he <laughs> seems pretty, pretty laid out for a meal, right? Yeah, there. I kind of agree with you. He's looking like a snack. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys, I'm. We're a team, remember? I just met you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can kind of trust each other kind of quickly. Yeah, you're trusting each other kind of quickly. 
That's nice. That's an awfully neat. You're, you're looking pretty good, too. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 hey. I, I, you don't have anything, do you? <laughs> I got a knife. I feel like I had a sword earlier. Do you want a sword? We'll make this fair. That would help. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I didn't mean to do that! I told you I'm a great shot! I'm sorry! Uh, um, we can make it in quickly. Yeah, it's probably no, a good no, 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 no. I'm sorry, man. We gotta do it. It's, gotta, it's gotta be over. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Neil. Hey, so we got hey, to go. Oh, shit. Damn, <laughs> see. <laughs> Thank you so much. We have one more short form game. Short form game for you. Doesn't mean the show's almost over yet. We're going to do a game that most of you know if you've been to our shows called Bell Curve. Can I get the sign for Bell Curve up real quick? Please? Yeah. Yeah. The show is about halfway over, if you've been keeping track, which means that we're not going to be done when we're done with this bell curve. We're actually going to be going all the way up to the five-person scene. Uh, we'll start with the one-person scene, two, three, four, five. Then at some point, someone who's not in the game will wipe the scene and end it. What's going to be happening after that? We will begin a long-form scene. That's right, this is a medium-form show because we've been doing short-form for you. And now we're going to be doing something called long form, which is just a series of scenes that will culminate in one big story. So, when all five of these people end up being in the scene, one of us will wipe it and we will begin a new story, inspired by something they've done in the scenes so far. So, we're going to start with a regular bell curve, cut it off halfway, and entertain you with the rest of the show using long form. So, can I get one word to inspire the first person scene? Bus rap. <laughs> Keep it coming. Batman. Batman. Draws dick hall. Walmart. So I think it's starting already. Oh, uh, All right, guys. <laughs> and directly to our left, we have, we have a wild giraffe. <laughs> you can tell about the giraffe thing that it is because of the qualities that it has. It has no neck. <laughs> hard. <laughs> hard to ride. <laughs> you are so tough. <laughs> you have spots and all the such, and they have long necks so that they can reach the fruit on the trees. Ain't that right? So come on, just keep on coming with me now on the tour because up next we have a crocodile. <laughs> It's different from an alligator because of the teeth or something. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but he's a big guy. Are you digging up that grave? Oh. Yeah, were you? Yeah, no. Oh, no. I'm, so I'm sorry. Nah, I'm... I don't work here. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. No, that's fine. Okay, I just, okay. I, I just. Are you using that one, though? Yeah, I mean, yeah, is yeah. that okay? No, that's fine. I don't want to step on your toe. I, were, were you going for this one? I heard you was going. I was going to go with that one. <laughs> oh, fuck. But I, we could share, we could work together. Yeah, let's split it. Oh my god. Can, we can work yeah. together. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> don't worry about it. Right. Oh my god, I think the segways are falling down. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you just kind of lean back a little. Oh. oh, that makes this a lot easier. Yeah, no, Mon Mon's purring. Mon's purring. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, is she going to a ball oh, like that movie? <laughs> Should we rob the ball? Loki. If Paul Clark can do it, I can probably do it. We should get that tattoo. And We're I have friends. a vibrating fork. Oh. Bling. <laughs> Bling. <laughs> Other kangaroo noise. Kangaroo. But I'll. I'm going to box you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. Kangaroo minute. You can't box 
me, I've got a, a baby kangaroo in my pouch. I have Me? Joey. <laughs> I just saw your intestines because kangaroo pouches lead to the turtle stomach. Yep, it's really gross inside. I found that out recently even though I am one. <laughs> I'll box you, I'm infertile. Oh <laughs>
I know it's been hard on you since your mom cheated. Oh! <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> I was thinking, what better way than go to Australia? That Wait. sounds fun, yeah. 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 You can see all the animals. Yeah, see the opera house, that's cool. Yeah, man. I mean, I really hope Maryland's not there, because of all the places in the world, if my wife was in Australia, that would be Yeah, that's, I, I mean, tickets, though, that'd be expensive, right? Oh! It's you! <laughs> <laughs> the same low, too? Can't no. you book, like, the other side of the plane? The plane was all booked. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Hi, can I get you a beverage? Here's a cookie. Yeah, can I buy alcohol? Eat the cookie. I'll have. You're not my mom anymore. You still are. <laughs> Don't make me make the pilot turn this plane around. We may not have left the airport, but we can go all the way back. <laughs> You better not have to turn this plane around again. <laughs> <laughs> this happened too many times in my career. You know how much paperwork that is? Oh, tell me about it. So much. So paperwork. I got a question. Since I'm new here, you know. Shoot, we got two steering wheels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do I control then? <laughs> you're, you're, you're the one steering, obviously. No, yeah, so yours is sort of the, the sidekick <laughs> steering wheel. Oh, so it's just that. there? It's uh, it's good for you to practice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was, I came from a different airline, so we we would turn around. Which uh, one? Uh, Fel Felta Felta Airlines. God bless your heart. Yeah, I know. It's good to be here in America, 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 America. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a God fearing, tax paying pilot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Stormy weather up ahead. <laughs> hey, hey, people on the flight, uh, passengers, <laughs> and passengers, you're gonna want to buckle up or whatever, because we're gonna see some turbulation. We'll <laughs> 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 be good. I deal with this all the time. I do. I like this extra leg room we have here, America, America. Yeah, uh, America, America Airlines. <laughs> Got the best day of leg room there. I love this leg room. Shh. So. <coughs> oh shit! <laughs> what are these pilots doing? I don't know, man. It's like they're relaxing in the cabin or something. Oh god! What, they got like two steering wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Who has wheels on a plane? Wow, this is such a beautiful park and date you took me on. Yeah, it's so nice to have. Um, oh, I hope you like raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a tilapia. Nice. Uh, parana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can eat that one. <laughs> nice cat. Oh, okay. And your shark liver. Oh, where'd you? All the animal part of the shark. Oh, what did you do with the rest of the shark? I fed it to my pet kangaroo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Darla, Darla likes it expensive. Yeah, naturally. But I thought I would do that for our first date. No, so kind. Um, which should we stop? You I was more? thinking, I was thinking salmon? Okay. <laughs> Good. Oh, so you finished it. Okay. <laughs> I finished fast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. putting on the whole baby shower. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, of course. Anything for my bestie. Oh god, Shangaroo. <laughs> Pregnant as fuck. Yeah. Jangaroo's about to pop. <laughs> yeah, I know it must be hard to get around since you're being so thick lately. But, um, yeah, no, I can do all the work for you. I don't mind at all. Well, uh, everyone... Thick? Everyone kind of has been saying that I'm like barely showing. Oh, to your face? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, did you look at the cupcakes yet? No, 
no. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They're, just, they're just gorgeous. They're yeah, divine. we've got um, the pink and we've got the blue. And then when you eat them, it tells you what the gender of the baby is. That's awesome. Right. And I love that you have like a purple ones as well, <laughs> in case right. they're like a they them type. <laughs> gender. Who's to say? It's, it's, Who's to say? We, it's, who cares about it? Who cares? I don't. I don't care. I want to make that very clear. That's why I'm naming it Quail. I'm a really progressive kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Raptor training zone. This Raptor is training where we zone. Prep. <laughs> this is where we prep for what we do to the Raptors when they get out of the cages. All right. We all can't right. have an incident like we did right. last month. This is the wall of raptor specimens. There's so many raptors. You rip off the genitalia to kill them. All the genitalia. Oh, all right. When you see a raptor, you have to deball it. They were all men. Do you understand? Good, good thing I got these deballers. Go, yes, go yeah. gave us deballers for a reason, Sergeant. This is the rope, and this is the whip. Now, show me your best ball swinging. <laughs> As the oldest grave digger, 
my job to impart on you the wisdom of good old fashioned art, Craig D. Dad, where'd you find this in the, the Australian tour manual? <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's been so long since, well, I dug the grave. Yeah, Mom would have never taken us to this. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> My dad took me to dig my first grave. Why, why don't you try, son? You just take that shoulder there. Uh, just see that dead body? You want to dig under that. Shh. Oh, you don't want to dig in it. You oh, want to dig under it. Take it, take it out. Timmy! What are you doing? <laughs> He's burning! You brought him to a graveyard? Oh, I'm always glad we go to a graveyard. You should know that. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind, you're not babe. You should have accepted that corpse. You called me babe? <laughs> 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 Interesting 
didn't specify it. Yeah. So interesting. Well, I speak English. Wow, so bushes really are back. I never, I never, I never thought Sports Illustrated would be this like progressive. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bush, for sure, yeah. That's what I Next page. Oh! Whoa, whoa! Next page is back shot, right? I just got you. Oh! I didn't know it was a double sided Rosa. Wow! I've never seen two dead people. Total snatchers <laughs> in the horrible. Holy shit. They don't do this in America. No, they do not, son. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, who are these guys? I really couldn't fucking tell you. Doesn't matter. They're cool. Any, you have any idea? I mean, what I know you're young. What does it say? Them. <laughs> I did. Wow, the David statue. <laughs> Small prick, big bush. <laughs> Should we take a pic of his crotch or something? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> department, I feel like maybe they're going to interpret that as something else. What did they interpret that as? Well, Bush is back in office. Well, there's been this new thing in the fashion industry where everyone wears no clothes. And then they grow their own, like, right around this area. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stafford, would you can it with the Diet Coke? We're not supposed to be drinking during working hours. <laughs> It's gotta be done. Someone's gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. We can't just neck. let the koalas get. Yeah, who's got the longest neck? I don't know. Hear me out, man. I feel like we're standing next to each other right now, and it looks like you have the longest neck. Do I have the longest neck? You are the tallest. I mean, I'll, I'll give it to you. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got him. Grab that apple. Oh. Yeah. To rap with him. Holy shit. It tastes like a tass. Oh my god. Wait, it doesn't. It doesn't. What was he thinking? I, he just told us that it was worth trying. <laughs> um, wait, hold on. Wait. Unless anyone been paying anyone paying attention to the tall trees recently? This was a scheme. <laughs> While we were going for the low fruit, they were taking the high what? hanging fruit. It's all gone. They're everywhere. Ah! Get the fruit, Get boys. The fruit! I'm glad we're taking this segue towards our national mall these days. I love segways. I hope I don't fall off. Uh, you got your fire. Right. Oh, right. so There's a pen. Where's Dan Robin? Come on, we gotta go see Bush. A lot of bushes around here. Yeah, it's cherry blossom season, but that's the tree, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, so how have you been? Alright. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so how have you been, huh? I've been okay. Yeah, it's, it's been fine, really. Yeah, it's been fine. Yeah. And uh, ever since the whole family died, it's yeah, been tough it's, out here. It's tough. But I, I got it. You know, I've been playing the chess. Mm. That's the the game, right? Yeah, the the game. Oh, the game. Oh, hold on, come on. 
he's kind of told me that he only has one goal in mind for his administration is to um, uh, is to attack Australia. Attack Australia? Like like a, like in like a Cold War of sense, and then if it gets heated, he said he's definitely down. So, oh my goodness, this is what he wants. I don't know. Okay, Mr. Um, Bush, how are we? Are you look good. You look great. I'm so ready for the Bush on Bush photo shoot. Awesome. I'm trying not to look down because it's wow, what a hog. Uh, <laughs> everything's bigger in Texas. It is. <laughs> 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 um, <yeah. laughs> so he wants to you know, <laughs> Australia. Well, this is kind of a de declaration of um, not not being nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Here, uh, here, just take that for a second, kid. Australia, I'm here to warn you. Bush is coming after you. Be good, boss. Hunker down and prepare yourself. Bush is calling an all-out Bush war. Oh, great! It's like a lot of great. Yeah. Wow, it's really up there. Yeah, it's up. Oh, man. You like photo shoots, man? I, I love photo shoots. <laughs> you know, I was thinking we might need to go on a diplomatic trip to, to Australia soon. Yeah. Uh, do a little diplomacy, a little uh, bush diplomacy is what I like to call uh, it. Uh, get yeah. involved with all the bushes. Uh, That's what I like other foreign ministers to do, is get involved with the bush. Uh, okay. So you're heading directly to Australia? Yeah, I'm going to hop on a flight. America, America Airlines got me. Uh, if I'm, I'm on a charter plane. I'm the president. That's a little weird, but. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news. Australia is under fire, specifically all of its bushes. <laughs> Rumored to be behind these bushfires that are wild. They're wildfires. Rumored to be behind them is George Bush. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now passing it to our on-the-scene correspondent, Rachel. Rachel. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about what's behind you. They look like bushes that are on fire in Australia. Tell us about the bushes that are on fire in Australia. <laughs> are, they, oh, God. are they on fire? In no. Australia? I don't know if the camera should still be rolling, but yup. Keep it rolling. <laughs> Keep it rolling, Rachel. I want to see that bush. That fire bush. Red hot. <laughs> fiery bush. Fiery, fiery bush. Happy Wait. St. Patrick's Day, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. I put so much that he was down on there, but I appreciate it. Wait, I think I might have some horns in my pocket. Let me take that out though and I accidentally set fire to myself with all the... Right, careful. The, the fire is actually approaching you rapidly from behind. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to hit you from behind <laughs> real quick, Rachel. <laughs> no, it looks like a fire. Previous time as owner of the uh, Texas Rangers, I can tell you one thing, and that is Bush is on fire. Uh, meaning, <laughs> um, I am yes, that's essentially correct. Uh, sorry, just what? So I feel like that didn't answer her question at all. Um, I, you, you are the one causing the Bush fires. Would you? Would, are you confirming that you are kind of declaring a fire fight of sorts with Australia? I wouldn't. It's like. Maybe, uh, uh, yeah, firefight's pretty accurate, actually. I'll, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Uh, hi, Mr. Bush. Thank you so much for um, taking this press conference. Big fan of your work, by the way. I saw you in Sports Illustrated. Nice, nice hog. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so 70,000 people have died in Australia already. <laughs> right, but how many of those people were kangaroos? That's well, my question. So about 25,000 of them were kangaroos, but one of them was really, really pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so she comes too. Oh, uh, okay. Do you have anything to say to the kangaroo families and the humans, I guess? Well, I'm more worried about the kangaroos because those are some glorious animals. 
That was some really cool. God, God did a good one with the kangaroo. Right, um, and you grew up with <laughs> with kangaroos, being from Texas and all. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the desert of Texas. We got some kangaroos boxing around there. So um, any animal that can stand on its hind legs and throw a punch is cool with me. So I'm very sorry, but uh, it was necessary to kill the other fifty-ish uh, thousand humans. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Australia's gonna gonna be on our shit list for a long time. They're on the my axis of evil, um, <laughs> along with some other stuff. Thank you, Mr. President. Like the Green Bay Packers, also on the axis of evil. <laughs> yeah. Boys, so Australia's under attack. Well, fuck, George Bush. He's coming after all the Bushes. We're the ones to stop it. We're the, we're the ones. I got no energy, man. But we've been castrated. We have no Bush. We're immune. We're immune, boys. We'll lead the charge. We'll lead the charge against Bush. Yeah. That's all we gotta do. Mr. Zookeeper. Yeah, what's up? You need to release us. We must save Australia. We're gonna save Australia. What's, all in, it? what's in it for me? Um. The United States of America, you become their president. Yes. <laughs> you know what? We're promising you that. You will become president. Yeah, San, San Diego fucking will leave me off. I'll do that, yeah. All right, give me <laughs> General, have, have you heard the news? The Raptors. The Raptors. Bush. The Raptors. The Bushes. It's all too much. I they got an know. idea. What? I got an idea. You know all those, uh, all the, all the bushes that we cut off those raptors. The raptor scrotums. I'm for you. We still have them, right? Oh, I have them. Oh, what are you thinking we do with the scrotums? We put them. You see the whole, all the bush. All the bushes. They're lighting on fire. The lighting on fire. Including. Including. The ones that we have. No, I can promise you they're not on fire. They're safe. <laughs> Those scrotums are we safe. We can't even light them on fire. Well, I think I think we gotta we gotta. We can like weaponize them. So. I think if we use the bush, or the scrotum as the cure for the bush fire, maybe. Maybe I could. Maybe. That could be good. But I think the ones we have for the <coughs> floor, I think those scrotums are occupied. So, so, we, can, so we can get new scrotums. Because those ones are. Scrotums. Those ones are you. Oh. We need, we need fresh ones. We need fresh ones. <laughs> fresh ones. We'll get an army. We'll get an get army. All, we'll get all the scrotums. We'll get all the scrotums. All the scrotums of Austria. And the majority of them will be used to end the bushfire. <laughs> and the rest will be used for science. Exactly. In this place. Well, it should be here. The ancient old grave. With the ancient old scissors. <laughs> this looks like the one right here. It's the only pair of scissors in the world that'll be able to cut Bush's bush. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm gonna get a little bit more towards that. <laughs> I think I'm seeing scrub. <laughs> I think I'm seeing a nice hog. <laughs> hey, dude, great hog. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> You've awoken me. What's up, uh, Greg? <laughs> it's me, Greg. <laughs> Did you have a, were you resting in peace? Oh, I didn't mean to. Not in peace at all. I was buried alive. Ages ago, with these pair of scissors. Oh, yeah, Liz. yeah, that's kind of what we uh, came to you about. You I came know. to take my scissors. Take is a word. B borrow. borrow. To, to take of my scissors and to use them as you please. You must beat me in a game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right. We're good at that. Yeah. yeah no, we, we love, love games. games. Well, I don't know if you've heard of this one. It involves this. Is there a let, let me. <laughs> one of these. Okay, I'm going to get these. <laughs> All right, so like, it's rock, paper, scissors. I think it's some kind of sex 
I wrote, oh. Yeah, no, it's not sexy. Yeah, it's, funny. it's rock, paper, scissors. Uh, <laughs> you just gotta be me and rock. No one's ever played with me before, so I just want to try it out. <laughs> oh, so you're a loser. Yeah, well, I've never played it. <laughs> As it seems fun. I don't exactly know the rules either, so I'm really kind of just a blank slate here, but I'd love to play it. Do you think it works as a freeway? Um, it could. <laughs> well, I'm ready to play it. Okay. The prize is the scissors. Okay, perfect. And if we lose, we'll give you the scissors. Oh, okay. Oh, and so you, you give me the scissors, and then if I lose, you get to keep the scissors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, One, two, two three, three, four. Oh, oh, we win! Oh, oh you do? Oh! It's, it's two gross. against one. Oh, two scissors <laughs> against the one. Oh, I see. Yeah, because scissors, yeah. scissors beat scissors. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that, that was fun. Thank you. Yeah, that's how it goes. Mr. Bush, you have arrived into presidential day. Boy, how do you some nasty looking raptors? I don't like these chickens at all. You're not going to take Australia. Hmm. You think you can set bushes on fire with your bush powers, Mr. Bush? <laughs> you have none. Look! Holy shit, that's smooth as a baby. No, Bush! <laughs> 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 It's just skin. Oh, it doesn't see it. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, uh, boys, hum up real quick. Uh, give us a minute. Okay, that seems fair. I didn't think we'd get this far. I don't know how we remove his power. Oh, gosh, we did not. You followed us? Yeah, of course he did. I know a guy. He's got a pair of scissors. Is it you guys? Call him in now. Is it you guys? We got this feeling it might be two guys. <laughs> Scissors. Yeah? And the other one. <laughs> oh, is that in there? He should have waited in there. He's being polite. Do you have the scissors? Hey, hey Raptors. We got, we got him right here. The bushes that cut off his bush and take away his bush powers. Yeah, yeah the magical old ancient scissors. They yeah. don't cut it, they'll cut everything off. Oh. Let me know when I'm allowed to listen again. <laughs> Thank you for being polite, though. No problem. Saturday, so please show up. It's a long form show. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you.